What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and welcome to the Dark Pictures, House of Ashes. I will be playing this game as well as Alan Wake Remastered. I will be, uh, doing our videos like I've done with the other, you know, Dark Pictures games. And once I'm done with the both of these, then I will jump into the, uh, Crisis Remaster Trilogy, and because I've been sitting on it for so long, and because I will, you know, be doing like 50 or so minute videos at the most of the Crisis Remaster Trilogy, I might go ahead and throw some hour episodes of Persona 5, because like I said, I've been sitting on it for long enough, I need to go ahead and start it, so I'll look into doing that as well. And, you know, we're just gonna, we're gonna keep the grind going. You know, I'm gonna try to get at least three uploads a week, maybe four if I can hack it. You know, just bear with me, you know, all that pun intended. But I'm ready to see about this game. The first game, it was, you know, Manchurian Gold. The second game, it was, you know, a blast into the past. And now this game might have to deal with some ancient crypts that probably will involve an actual monster. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. For they have sown the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind. Hosea chapter 8 verse 7. Every choice has a consequence. Some decisions save lives. Others. Oh my god, it looks so detailed. Lead to death. Choose wisely. Okay. Okay, okay. So that was a scarab beetle. Are we somewhere near Egypt? Akkad, 2231 BC. Oh. No, I don't want to die. Silence. Wait, hold on a second. Why does that remind me of the guy from the Diablo 4 cinematic trailer? He looked just like the uh guy that was able to let them in the door. Your words are meaningless here. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. No subtitles? Your sacrifice will lift his curse from our land. And a gilded beard too? <laughs> Forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. The gods smile on you. For now. Take this one back to his cell. I'll deal with him later. You're in luck, Gutian. Luck? No. No luck for these dogs. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. General. We should leave this place. God, it's so pretty. His, his madness threatens to swallow us all. Oh no. This temple is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. Oh, uh, that he did. We have our orders, Captain. Yeah, he does kind of have a point. He's choosing the lesser of two evils. Wow. This has got the to be in God Egypt somewhere. To destroy my kingdom. I know it, girl. I see everything. Ooh. Look around you. Is this hole not famous enough for my mistakes? Do the gods not bask in its glory? The Gutians are coming, General. The Gutens. moon god sends an army to destroy us. The moon and the sun. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. No matter. 
the blood of this army will nourish the sands. Uh -huh. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. Right. Starting with this one. Yeah, back then they believed in uh, sacrifices to Tell appease me, General, the gods, like the Aztecs. Does she remind you of anyone? My king? Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? Huh? What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen. Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Oh, he lost his daughter to the plague that was there. Oh, out the door? Should we keep her alive by your command? Say nothing. Would you prefer I used your blood instead? You have your orders. Kill her. Oh! Whoa! Ooh! Ooh! Girl got hands! She's got hands! Okay! I really don't want to kill her! I really don't want to! Oh, I'm gonna have to throw this- Yeah! You do not have to attack. Not doing it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. We're about to fight in a freaking war. Plus, look at that, okay? Look at that. You've spent too long killing the calves in our cells, Balatu. You've lost your edge. Look at that. We're about to fight in a freaking war where I might die anyways. And she just straight up got murked regardless. Just a girl. Nothing but a girl. Right. Girl, I see only a Gutian demon. Hmm. <gasps> if you cannot kill in my name, General, then perhaps you can die for it. Fight well. Ooh, they got Kopeshes too? Okay! Oh! Okay! Okay, go ahead! Go ahead! You are never a prisoner! Ooh, okay! Ooh, I thought he got him! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Hell yeah, you fight to your last breath. I don't know whose side I'm on right now, but I I respect that. Homeboy did not give up. That is what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Because I mean, Oh boy literally told us the king's madness and then he said this temple is cursed. I I I can't stand behind somebody who 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 literally has that kind of reputation. I can't do it. Man, look at that shield wall. What are you doing? Uh... Man. Oh, it's an eclipse. Oh, you know some shit's fixing to go down. On a solar eclipse? Yeah, man. Some shit is about to go down. Ooh. 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 Dang. The blood is soaking the sand. And I think all that stomping around just woke something up. And please explain to me why it sounded like the Wendigos from Until Dawn. 
Gods give me strength. You got it, brother. Dang. Oh, man. He was stabbed in the chest. Or the gut. Did he... Did he stab himself? Oh, oh! Oh, they are... They are hungry! Oh, yeah, payback time! Payback time! Now that I think about it, maybe, maybe now might not be the best time to start fighting. I'm just being serious. Strength in numbers, my boy. Woo! Yeah, yeah, uh, strength in numbers. There you go. What have you, Arcadian, done to unleash such force? We've been cursed. And it took him now to realize that. We thought you were the demons. You were wrong. Yeah, because he told y'all they were. The king sacked the temple at the pool. He built this temple to call for forgiveness. But the gods don't listen. Nope. And now he too is silent. Or did he get killed by something, or by something? Even my daughter's death couldn't wake me to the truth. I followed a fool into the abyss. Uh, we would let his ruin become ours. This is your temple. What can we do? There is no way out through the catacomb. You think I should trust you? You have no choice. Oh! You slimy bastard! I will admit that was kind of smart, though. That was kind of smart, though. Get him to go with you. <laughs> Man, this has started off great. This has started off so good. Oh, man. Help me with this. Uh. Oh, hold on. I was pressing the wrong thing. I was pressing the, uh, for some reason, I was clicking L3. <laughs> I don't even know why. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was literally like that. <laughs> Follow me. There is a way out through the tomb. Tomb? Tomb? Yes. For the builders when they're done. Come. Uh, oh my god. Watch. It's going to be something to do with sound and movement. Oh shit. Here we go. I'm so good at these. If it looks over there and they don't move and he doesn't and it doesn't see them, that will confirm that it's a Wendigo of some kind. A skinwalker. It's not a rat, buddy. Just a rat. No, it's not. Or was it just death. that rat? For nothing. Could it have been that rat? <laughs> for a mad king. It could have been. Ooh. <laughs> Up yours, Scarab Beetle. Up yours. Oh, man. Here we go. We are in it now. 
It probably was just the rat. Jeez. Oh my god. What the hell did all this, man? Ooh, inspect. What is this? Oh! Okay, so that's a premonition. Arisen. Uh, let me look at that again. It does look like, uh, the other guy, the bald head guy. No, it is not. It might be, but I think he's freaking dead because you saw a, a horn coming off of his head. So, and I'm not even gonna lie. Like, can I go back and look at that? How do I look at that? Uh, pictures. Okay, so check this out. Why does it sort of look like he comes from up this way? From up that, uh, big hole? It really looks like it. To look well, around, first, there may be hidden information. Why did your king create the temple? Same story that history has taught us. For gold, for glory, for greed. Hidden information. But I don't see any, though. I really didn't see any. Is it supposed to, like, light up or show me something? Or am I looking at the pictures? Because you can't read any of that. I don't know. I can't tell. I hope I didn't miss anything. But, you know, we'll just move on for now. Gotta find that, uh, secret exit. Now, where would it be, I wonder? Okay, so there's that again. There, there's that again. We already saw that. Uh, is it right here? Yep. Here. Help me with this. Yeah, it literally looked like him with horns. So we have to, like, I guess for what it's worth, make sure he doesn't fall down somewhere or get left behind or dragged somewhere because then he's going to come back out. That was like a demon statue. You first. We're safe down here. You first. Yeah. I mean, you were about to cut off his head, bro. Ooh. What is this that adorns you? What the is? history of Gotian. You are guardians fought hard to destroy our people. But mark my words, our story has just begun. How do we get out of here alive? Nah, be respectful. You know what? We're both probably gonna die. Be respectful at the end. The enemy of my enemy is a friend. Yeah, exactly. We help each other. If need be, we can settle shit later. There is always hope. But for now, we get out. For now, we get out. And that... What was that? What was that? How that sounded like the alien. We're not alone, though. Oh, oh, look at that. That is a straight-up demon with a snake. <laughs> that is a straight-up demon. Over here. You got me messed up. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no! Hell no! Yeah, stay, 
stay next to me. No. A guardian. There's no escape. Our only hope is to stand together. No. If we both run, then we both die. Exactly. Ready your sword. You might as well. La no. Fuck. Betray. Now we're finna fight. The sword and the shield. There you go. Come on. Come on, brother. There you go. There you go. Oh, I missed it. Fuck. Fuck, that was fast. Whoa. Oh, what in the hell? Fuck, <laughs> oh, man. I missed it. Now, what does the bearing do? Kurum was the last to die in the temple catacombs. We don't know what that actually does. I've never looked at the bearings before. Hold yes! Hold yes! Yes! Won't you spare me over till another year? Yes! Once again, Curator! I have missed you so much! The swag is still there! Woo-wee! I am ready for this fucking game! Let's go! Well, what is this? Man, I remember I played this song on repeat on my way home from work one night. It was a foggy, you know, midnight. The moon was high, the moon was bright. I put all four of my windows down and just fucking blared this song. Oh my god, super massive games. What you got for me this time? We have a lot when it comes to sacrifice. Sacrifice is how things start out. Yeah. Scream in hell. Ooh. Whoa. That dude was straight up on fire. Yes. You teeter on the edge of an abyss. Where are the subtitles, the though? It <laughs> depends on the choices you make. They will be as a compass, guiding you through the unknown. Right. Will you find the path to salvation? Hopefully. Or be lost in the darkness? Let's hope not. Ooh, I like what they did there. Let me speak plainly. You're about to make some difficult decisions. Oh, he's never did decisions this before. Decisions that will affect the lives of others. Well, he might have, yeah. How those decisions play out will become clear over time. It just didn't sound as grim. I expect you're wondering who I am and where you are. Oh, because I don't have any data on the PS5. I am the curator. So he's talking to me like the I'm custodian new. custodian of tales. My purpose is to keep a record of everything ah. you do, every decision or mistake you make. Right, because I played the other two games this on the PC. This is my repository. 
That's right. Woo! Okay. Okay, stories. Itachi. Stories about friends and enemies. Loyalty. Yep, and looks like there are two life. more. And death. It looks like there is at Understand least one or two more in the series. I'm not here to help you. Although I have been known to bend the rules from time to time. Who is that? Al Alfred Hitchcock. To descend into the unknown alone is extremely brave, or extremely foolish. Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Oh my God, you beautiful bastard! Let me give you a few words of advice. Throughout the story, you will encounter certain pictures, pictures which allude to possible outcomes. Yep. I suggest. You pay attention to their meaning. It could foreshadow a future best avoided. But alas, the sands of time have run out for us. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Or fail. Mm. I would love to meet this man in real life. I would. I would just love to just go out and have lunch with this guy. Iraq, 2003. But yeah, where where are the damn subtitles at? Like there should be subtitles. I I looked earlier and I did not see anything involving subtitles. It gives you the option to like turn on the the like the subtitle like text or whatever, but I did not see any uh yeah, sidebars on subtitles uh, I cannot fucking read that. Minimal. Oh, oh, I'm such an idiot. Okay, there they are. <laughs> Jason Kolchek. First Lieutenant, United States Marine Corps. Colonel, good trip. Eric King, Lieutenant Colonel, rational, insecure. I didn't see what the other guy Not was. Not particularly. Welcome to Camp Slayer. You're early. Uh, is my meeting room prepped? No, be a, be a, you know, you know what? Just, just, don't be Apologies a dick. Apologies for arriving early, Lieutenant. Things okay, fast. don't be a dick. I hear you, Colonel. I work with Glad the red. I work with the military. Don't be a dick. Thanks for ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, we're good to go. You should read this. Can you hear? There's a new king in the castle. Clarice. Is that weed? You are. Annoyed. Careful with that case. Restrained. This is my assistant. Uh, I don't think she's my assistant. Say nothing. Dr. Stokes. Yeah. At your service. Thank you. Let her introduce herself. Cold check. Let oh. her introduce herself. Room? I don't see her as an assistant. What are you talking about? And then it said, careful with that case. Like I said, don't be a dick. Okay. Hold up now. Aren't you having chow a little bit early? Me? Can't you keep up? Rachel King, CIA field officer, commanding, abrasive. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Nick K, sergeant, defensive, and romantic. Okay. This could be our last time together, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, uh, I thought I was done. Mm. These last few weeks, you've you've lifted me. Oh, up. I remember the, the I gameplay for that. him. He has like he's he is defensive. He has a lot of fear in him too. I gotta watch out for him. Rachel I, King. I gotta keep him alive. He's arrived on base, ma'am. He's en route to the briefing room. I'll be there in five. Ain't y'all smashing in the briefing Stop. room? It's him. He's early. Your husband, you mean? What? Don't you think it's a oh, the, the the last name King did Get not click on, until up. now. Damn. Hey, Rachel. Are you going to tell him about us or what? Damn, that did you not click Eric until he said that. Here. Okay, Whatever so they're not together. Be over. Come on. 
reluctant. We should put this on ice. I'll find a way to tell him. Now, when he when it comes to a soft individual like him, you, you got to not be, you know, harsh on him. So be reassuring. I just don't think this is the right time. That's bullshit. There's never a right time. Just. Soon, Nick. I promise. Soon. Did he or did she go up in nervousness? I'll see you at the briefing. But I didn't, excuse me. I didn't want to just like, Shit. you know, just blow it off like that. U.S. Marines. You know, speaking of which, let me just go ahead and just, you know, get it out there, you know, to the men and women of our armed forces. Much love to you. Much love to y'all. Man, this is so pretty. Let's excuse the noise and disorder. We're just getting the base set up. Oh, is that a pool? Hmm. Blows my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here. What? Down down in candy bars while some poor bastard clipped his toenails. Damn. Nice image. Uh, if only you could see the state of this place now. Makes me smile. <laughs> we got the CIA, we got the Army, Hold up. the Marines, Who? DIA. Who's blasting tunes? Hey, everyone's And please added. tell me it ain't copyrighted. Everyone's a piece of history. <laughs> God bless America. Amen. Let's see what all the Okay, so that was the radio. Ooh. I see you, old man. You're busting out those reps. Hey, uh, you come join me. Maybe I'll teach you there too. Okay. Later. We have company. Yeah. Well, you miss here would like to watch me get my sweat on. Huh? Okay. Don't you spot me, little lady. All right, now. I see you just fine from here. Thanks. Good. Good. Good on Nor you. Corporal Merwin. He likes social skills. Uh, I guess every unit has its resident jackass. Yeah. Sergeant K. This is Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prepped. I'll we'll see you in there, Marine. No salute or nothing? Hold up! Oh, what's his malfunction? <laughs> Nick ain't been himself lately. We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Civilian ate a bullet. Oh! Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready. Yeah, I understand how that would, uh... That would make a man feel, you know, feel some kind of way. Hey, Joey, they got you sitting behind a desk. You want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. People who sit behind desks don't tend to catch so many bullets, you know? So this must be uh, the one and only satellite. You guy. ain't wrong. Be polite. Don't, don't be a dick. <laughs> the one and only satellite guy. I'm Eric King. Lieutenant Colonel Eric King. Give the colonel full sight access. Sir. I'm telling what you. What was he so mad about? This bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. That's my wife? Well, at least, at least defend your girl. We'll do that at least. That's my wife you're talking about. I had no idea. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, at, at least. Work got shot. At, at, at least, you know. I mean, I don't. I don't give a damn. All right. But we know each other. Nah, if you're, if you're, I mean, they're not together anymore for what it's worth. But so, I'm so sorry. Rachel never said she was married. We've been working apart this last year. So she's the queen bitch now. She's gone up in the world. If it helps, we like to think of it as a term of endearment. Still, I wouldn't have been an asshole about it if it was me, but I'd have still, you know, have been like, hey, you know, that that's my wife. I, would, I wouldn't have took it that seriously, up. but... I hope the bandwidth can cope with the data. You know, it is what it is. Wait for the team, inspect the briefing room. Okay, let's, uh... 
let's Gun let's get to moving around so we can are we able to look at away. anything Looks like an because Exactly like you can you did. can look at all get sorts of stuff get down on the dance and ooh, ooh, okay i see that sparkle okay pay attention to the sparkles off with her head. <laughs> i'm still trying to get <laughs> back used to this me. game maybe when we're done i'll let you spin me around a little okay she trying to she trying to spit game american overseas mission accomplished president bush declares and dang it see see <laughs> it's like you're almost timed or that was meant to happen. Here we go. Colonel King. Mrs. King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear with me first. Don't be arrogant, though. Say nothing. This is from Sock Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. She ain't, I'm gonna need access to your network. She ain't gonna like that. I'll patch you through. Name? Dr. Stokes. You can call me Clarice. Hello, Clarice. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. She's got a little uh, choker thing on too. Okay, I see you. Little choker thing, nose piercing. All right. 1500 hours, three o'clock PM. For those of you who don't know. What the fuck is that? Modern art or something. This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please pioneer away. Merwin, don't make like me this smack you. Briefings, Corporal? Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. He's sticking up Very for well. his team. I respect Satellite that. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect it's where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. Mm-hmm. got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Okay. Facilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. Right. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The Army is giving us a ride out there on their helos. Okay. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. Damn right. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What the fuck we waiting for? I'm ready. He's gung-ho. He's ready to get in there. Journal. Make no mistake. Those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah. Too many birds could bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Oh! Hey, careful, boy. <laughs> I didn't pull out so fast. Could have been your papi. Hey! Right, that's enough, Merlin. <laughs> sure. What's your call? Okay. Oh, God. We keep this small. I'll request air support. Jesus. Uh, fuck. Ha! Keep it small. We keep this thing small. If it goes south, I'll pull the plug and we can bug out. With all due respect, I think that's the wrong call. With all due respect, Lieutenant Kolchak, it's not your decision to make. Bearing update. Eric refused to bring close air support on the mission. Aw, oh, shit. That's gonna bite it's me in the too. ass, ain't it? Merwin has a point. If we spin up too many helos, we'll increase our chance of being spotted. I mean, that is Any true, concerns, though. See me after the briefing. That is true. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio sounds within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. There is that, at least. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. <laughs> I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. Yeah, I mean, 
Not everybody is going Please. to like the decisions you make. I'm on it. And that's what I have to understand. I don't know, this don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie. Look, good rub down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. Whoa! I got a real bad feeling about this. That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? Hmm. I don't I'm know, man. I'm going satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. I don't know, man. Eric. Hmm. We need to talk. There's something I have to tell you. Mm-hmm. You should know. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. Oh, jeez. Uh-uh. Nope. Nope. Say nothing. Nope. This isn't about us, Eric. Nope. I just want things to go back to the way they were. How we left it? Things because if I would have went intimate, watch, that old boy would have been watching. A lot worse. And it would have broke his heart. <sighs> Nothing has changed, Eric. You know that. You and I, there is no you and I. It's over. Please, Rach. Don't say that. Oh, geez. Hold on. Let me see that. Rachel told Eric that their marriage was over. Okay. I'm wearing your wedding ring. <clears throat> hey, be careful with that. Oh, shit. Sorry. What you got in that box of tricks anyway? I really want to know. What the fuck is that? Ooh. Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. Okay. You never go. No. <laughs> How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. <laughs> Give it to Five me. Five <laughs> minutes ASAP enough for you? <laughs> Downloading data now. Let me see it. <laughs> I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you? Oh, sure. Joey. So Joey is... Check all equipment. Joey is the other man. Can... Yeah, Oh. Oh man, that's rough. That's rough. He still loves her, but she's moved on. That is super rough. Is this Joey right here? No, this is Merwin. What the hell do we need this crap for? We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. You want me to feel safe? You give me some more shooters. You're afraid of heights, so you're my technician. Just, just, just be relaxed. Be relaxed. So you're my technician. I'm afraid about you. Yeah. I should fucking hope so. I'm here to keep our gear in check. And if any Iraqis pop their heads up, I'll take them clean fucking off. Man, this dude is in it. You seem pretty confident, Corporal. If you need any assistance with the climbing gear, I'm here to help. There you go. Sure, I'll manage, Colonel. There you go. Like I said, not everybody. Climbing gear. <laughs> Fucking pencil pusher. Come on now. If people can learn how to repel, you can learn how to freaking climb. Let me uh, let me try to get through as much as I can because I want to read this stuff. Confidential, Upper Iraq Survey Group, SCB, uh, SCPB Mailman. Holy shit. Uh, Bandit Activity, Soren District, Report Disappearance to Aid Workers, Soren District, Workers Named as Yves Palgum, Marie Vinay, Failed to Make Contact Two Weeks Ago, Aid Workers Presumed Robbed and Killed. Message End. Okay, so that was like, a, was that like Morse code? I don't think it might have been Morse code, but I don't know. I don't know for sure. Sadat, so yep. You think we'll bag Chemical Ali at this facility? If he's in the vicinity, we'll get him. <laughs> that almost makes it worth the risk. Almost. Well, you know, I'd still rather be sitting behind a desk. So Sir, he, I've heard some fucked up stories about the So board. he's not fully like sure you don't he want has he has a big uh, a fear. 
Or are you going to... We have the element of surprise on our side. I will not allow anything to jeopardize Overbearing. That. Please, Colonel. Can we take a step back and think about this for a minute? He is really shook. I've made my decision. You feeling lucky, Lance Corporal? Well, my parents owned a horse named Lucky. Mmm. He ran away. Aww. Bet the farm on this. I have a good feeling we're gonna clear up. Oh, I am I so I worried, man. <laughs> oh, I am so worried because it's like that uh, that quick time. Like these things can move so fast. All right, let's see what we got here. Expected to be placed under Iraqi control in 2007. Under provisional Iraqi control, U.S. command, Polish command, U.K. command. Subject survey group objectives to Directorate of Central Intelligence. Directorate of Central Intelligence. The objectives of the survey group are as stated. One, organize and direct intelligence capabilities across coalition government agencies and armed forces, U.S., U.K., Australia. Apply intelligence expertise to discover, capture, and exploit information on individuals, facilities, and operations relative to weapons of mass destruction. Organize and direct war operations to survey and exploit weapons of mass destruction sites within Iraq. The survey group reports directly to CENTCOM and the Director of Central Intelligence. Operational findings in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom to be published quarterly from June 1st 2003 and operation iraqi freedom was a real life operation too okay okay these guys did their homework but let me go back to reading this american overseas mission accomplished president bush uh, declares the end of hostile hostilities in iraq many sherman executed killer uncooperative during final hours who that name does not ring a bell there we go. Did I complete. did I literally have five minutes on the clock to get that done? I wonder. What? What? You want to ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. What do you think of him? I take it you're talking about the skipper. He's a nice guy. Around here, nice don't cut it. What do you think of him? Mm. I think he's got something else on his mind. And I think he knows exactly what else is on his mind. Salim Badra Mandali, 1753 hours. That is uh, 553 p.m. Salim, a lieutenant Iraqi ground forces, stubborn and courageous. Those, that's not a good combo. Stubborn and courageous. Ooh, boy. I'm going to have to watch out for this guy. Oh, but it did say that other people's fates would be locked in, Same. too. So do I have to worry about the U.S. Same. forces and the Iraqi forces? If so, that's a lot. Oh my God, I'm gonna be playing him too? Wow, what in the hell? <laughs> Highgate University Shield, Mr. Zane Othman, 112 March 3rd, 2003, application number. Dear Zane, the board has approved your application for admission to Highgate University to read mythology in academic year 2003 to 2004 which commences on September 2nd, 2003. Oh, okay. He got approved for like a college or something. This offer is conditional upon your agreement to fulfill the following requirements, failing which the university will deregister you from the course of study offered. Completion of your college studies to the projected AAB standard of grades, obtaining a student's visa from the UK home office, we understand that current world events may create complications for your visa applications and relocation to the United Kingdom. I assure you that the faculty will assist and support your visa application in every way. For over 120 years, Highgate University has helped talented young individuals from all walks of life achieve personal success, allowing them to thrive in the educational and professional world. We look forward to embarking on your own journey to success. Sincerely, Andrew McAllister, director of admissions okay so he got accepted to a college and he he gets the chance to relocate 
I see. Oh, why is that broken? Uh. Why is this broken? That's folded. Did uh the mom like Oh, please do not tell me that the mom was that civilian. That would be terrible. That would be so terrible. Am I able to like bring this to him? Cause isn't this his? Happy birthday, Zane. Please. My boy is becoming a man. Love please, always. Please. Dad. Dang. Could he be upset that he got the opportunity? I wonder. Like, so many things are going through my head. This looks like my room. Let me see my, uh, my humble abode. My inner space. My secret space. Anything in the closet? No? All right. All right, Zane, my boy. Zane? Is he not in there? He is definitely not in here. All right, let's acknowledge everything we have to look at. So we can look at the bed. We can look there. Let's see. What do I look at first? Uh, oh, I'll look at the bed first because it looks like a note. What are we pulling out from under the bed? It's a secret stash. Oh, busy and tanny. Please, not again. What is this supposed to be? What what am I supposed to do with this? Just put it down? Oh! Yeah, but... I could actually do something with that. I wanted to read what was on the desk! No! I wanted to read what was on the desk! Uh, hello, I'm Salim. Salim? Salim Garkun. Abu Zain. Hello, I'm Rigat. Yes, I'm Rigat. He's Zain with... With... He's with your father. Yes, he's with your father. They're going to I found some stolen goods. I have a gift for him. Let's just be real. She needs to know too. زين قال لي انه بطل الحاجات دي وعدني ايه لا مش عايزين الصيع دول معانا انا هتعامل معاه في معرفتي انت بس قولي لي هم فين انا 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 مش عارفه اول ما يدخلوا من الباب تقولي لزين ابوك عارف ان I mean you gotta be real قولي له ابوك غضبان منك. Gotta be real. لا 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 boy. I wanted to read that damn note too. بصري اهلا. Oh. انا ولازم لازم اتحرك على طول. انت بتقول ايه سعادتك؟ العدو جاي يا سليم. العدو جاي علينا دلوقتي. العدو. يا فندم الحرب خلصت خلاص وخسرنا لا ده كلام فارغ محدش السلم العدو جاي ودي أرضنا وإحنا لازم نتعرب ليها أوكي شايفينهم مطلوب تأكيد يلا شوف جايين علينا They need every available man إحنا في المكان لحسن طيرتهم توصل عندنا Jeez God I'm sorry I gotta I gotta go with that option ما دارش عمل ده يا فندم The dad in me I know that. Uh, okay now. Okay now. Golly, man. Oh, I gotta keep this dude alive. I gotta keep this dude alive, man. I have to. He has a boy to get back to. I have to keep him alive. Eighteen fifteen hours. Six fifteen. Roger that. 
Tango Mike, it's over. We'll see you on the other side. All call signs, silence, silence, silence. Coyote 2 out. Oh, wow. He has a prosthetic on, leg? Boys. We're coming in fast. Whoa, I did not hey, see that coming. What's your mama and the Bermuda Triangle have in common? Uh-oh. Why are you fucking it like? They both swallow Marines. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good, boy. Dang. Hey, look. Your mama's so nasty. Uh-oh. I called her for phone sex. Now I got a fucking ear infection. <laughs> okay. Well, damn. Okay. How long you been sitting on that one? A I while. Like that. I shouldn't tell more of those bad boys lined up. Yeah, that's what your mama said. If you want to cut the bullshit and focus <laughs> on the mission. Hey, only one place I let a woman boss me around like that, all right? And that's between the sheets. Okay. All right, chill out, bro. I'm bruh. surprised your mom lets a woman into your bedroom. Don't want her getting jealous now. Ooh. Hey, the fuck y'all laughing at? Yeah, you don't like it, bruh. Quiet, quiet Attorney down Kay, there. I need you to establish contact with the AWACS CP on four hour intervals. Sergeant <laughs> K, are you with me? Yeah, I got it. Contact CP every four hours. No, ask him. Be concerned for your boy. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm straight. What's going on in there? Just some shit I gotta work through, man. It's all good. I'm chill. I got your back. I got your back, Nikki. No matter what. I know it. Yeah. Make sure you do. Semper Fi. Semper Fi, do or die. Semper Fi? What's that? Some kind of Boy Scout thing? It's a Marine thing. Oh, yeah, she's from the FBI. I mean, she don't know about that. So, what? It's supposed to be lucky? Marines have a boatload of superstitions. Hit me with one. All right, check it out. They say to never look back when you're disembarking the helo. No, yeah. Otherwise, you curse the whole team. Yep. That's got to be about the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Yeah, well, maybe. But as I see it, why well, take a chance? Eyes forward at all times. You look backwards in a war zone. It's no wonder you get your ass shot off. They are not wrong. Well, Marines. This is what we were sent here to do, and may God be my witness. We're gonna succeed. Amen. Amen to that, brother. Yes, sir. Hoorah. 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 Yes, sir. Captain. What's the neck? Yep, there they go. Pigs do fly. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Gonna get bumpy. Target LZ. Target landing zone. I I know a little bit of stuff. I know a little bit. Oh man! Now that I think about it, this is the second time we've done one of these games that involved soldiers. Man of Medan did that too in the very beginning, back in World War II. How the fuck did you have to go and do that? <laughs> Oh, he made him look back. He made him look back. The American, the American, the American, the American soldiers are here. We've been made. Awaiting orders. Fan out and hold fire. Nope, fan out, hold fire. Fan out and hold fire. We're gonna psyops this shit. Exactly. You don't just go in guns blazing. Get it. Okay. Down, down, on your face now. Hey, yeah, you don't shoot unless you see a threat. Unless somebody has a weapon. Yes, sir. Stack up. Let's do it. Woo! 
I don't know why that made me jump. <laughs> Clear room. Clear. All bound is secure. Prisoners are playing ball. Nice. Roger. Get Corporal Merwin to pop yellow smoke at the LZ and bring in the Colonel. Yes, sir. This rig's a bust. These people are not the enemy, they're just shepherds. That's why we didn't assault the compound. You don't know. But then again... Lieutenant Kolchak, sit rep if you will. No shots fired, sir. No casualties. Farm is secure and we're processing captives. Captives? Have you located an entrance to the underground Who the asylum? hell would Native, assault sir. the compound? There is one, it's well camouflaged. Who would choose that if option? there is one. What does that mean, Lieutenant? Skeptical. We'll find it. Yeah, let's go with we that. We have to carry out a full search. We'll find it, sir. You took a risk giving up the element of surprise, Lieutenant. But it looks like it paid off. No casualties and clean work. Thank you, sir. Nonetheless, any holdout Iraqis might now be on high alert. My team's ready for anything, Colonel. Especially Merwin. You know he ready. That went smoothly. See? Thanks. <laughs> place locked down tighter than a virgin. Hey! Not finish that sentence, Corporal. All right, now. <laughs> Are they ready for questioning? Chill out. Yeah, just don't ask them any tough physics questions. Let's go. Chill out. Stay sharp. If anyone so much as raises an eyebrow, I want to know about it. Copy that. I don't know about you guys, but something doesn't feel right about this place. Oh, yeah? So is that this, uh... Women's intuition I keep hearing about. Don't be disrespectful. Yeah, you want to find out what happens when you piss it off? Don't be disrespectful, Merwin. Come on now. Stay still. I'm just going to pat you down. Ooh, is somebody about to get froggy? Somebody is about to get froggy. I, I just feel it. Assalamu alaikum, ya akhi. Lazim asal sual. ولازم تقول الحقيقة. أوه. تين مدخل مخزن السلاح. Say nothing. Let her handle it. هسألك مرة. Let her handle it. فين مكان المخزن؟ Oh. Is that a hell is that? Like some kind of symbol? Some kind of effigy. Possibly pagan. Ida. That's not something you want to hear. No, not fuck your voodoo shit. Let's be a little curious. I don't. I wouldn't have touched it. Fuck. I wouldn't have touched it. Ouch. Oh, and it drew blood too? That's fucking nuts. I've had enough of this. Corporal, keep an eye on the captives. You heard him, Marine. Interrogate the shepherds, search the farm. Well, I don't know if I'd be able to speak the language. That's my whole problem. So I'm gonna just look for the shinies. We actually, you know what? Nah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna call the episode here. Uh, we're at a good stopping point. We have, whoo, I'm, it's like my, my palms are sweaty. I'm not even there and my palms are sweaty. Oh man. So far, I love it. That blast, uh, you know, to the past in the very, very beginning was amazing. I really hate the fact that I missed that uh that uh QTE. I don't think I missed any QTEs in any of the previous games. If I didn't, fuck. <laughs> I missed that one. But I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope, you know, this is not a reaction video, but I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, why not leave the video a like? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, why not consider subscribing? Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of this mayhem. Until next time, I appreciate all of you for watching. Like and subscribe for more, for I will continue to make these videos for many moons. Stay safe out there. 
and never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.